So I've just finished editing a video and realised that I didn't introduce it at all. Um, so last week, Charles Brockbank over in Bristol posted a video called Travel Project. Hands up. I should have prepared for this. I totally didn't prepare. Travel Project Parkour Juggling. And I think it's a great idea. I'm all for it. And uh, it got me really inspired to go and do some stuff. So... I did. I filmed some bits and um, I got quite into the like technique of juggling and precision jumping. That was kind of today's today's thing. So I worked on it a load and you're, you're about to see what I worked on. But I just want to say, yeah, if, if you find this interesting, go and see what Charles is doing. He's I've just saw that he put another video out and I've just watched it and it's made me go, ah, I want to go back out again today. But I can't. So that's going to have to be later in the week. Um, but yeah, so I did some juggling, I did some jumping, I didn't fall off anything too badly, so that's a win, right? Um, but yeah, I'll put a link to, to Charles' stuff, because you should totally go and watch it. Um, really interesting. Okay, so there seems to be three different techniques which let you use your arms varying amounts. Um, I've just been playing with it and what I started with was essentially trying to juggle while jumping, you know, like, but like juggling almost in the air so you don't really use your arms to jump, you do the jump completely with your legs and you juggle across the way which worked over this little small jump but then when I tried to scale it up to the bigger one, uh, this jump here is about maybe 80-85% of my maximum jump so it's kind of like big enough but without pushing too much but it's kind of the difficulty gets hard enough that I can't do it without using my arms and then the second technique which I played with which I kind of um, let me use my arms more um, it took a little while to find but basically to do a kind of slightly higher throw immediately before I jump and slightly ahead of me, which forces me to drive my arms through. Um, so I start to get some arm swing and start to get more power. Um, but the difficulty, and that, that's just taken me ages to get a feel for, the difficulty with that is that it's really easy then to throw the ball too far because you're getting quite an arm swing and you're trying to swing your arms to the jump while also make the throw that travels you over the jump. And they're two different powers. So you end up having to like do a little like kind of early release scoop back with the fingers so that you don't throw the ball too hard. And then what really made the difference as well is thinking about throwing diagonally, because obviously I'm throwing from right to left. And so thinking consciously about that diagonal throw. Also I think increased, you know, rather than throwing it straight forwards and having to reach, which I can't reach as far, by throwing the diagonal that makes it more reachable for my left hand, also means the ball has to travel that a little bit further which helped just to kind of differentiate them two powers. And then the third technique, which I'm not so keen on, but is actually the easiest, is to throw the ball to the landing nice and high and then jump up the gap, which didn't take me very long at all. But I don't know, I'll have a look when I look at the video, look at the video and I might have, you know, I'll include the clips here and completely disagree with myself, but I don't think I like that one so much. So, yeah, annoyingly the one that I think is the best is definitely the hardest technique. 